Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about literal equations, and we're going to solve each equation for the indicated variable. So if I was given this equation, negative 3x plus 2c equal negative 3, and we're solving that for x, okay? So what I want to do here is I want to rewrite my equation, negative 3x plus 2c equals negative 3. Then, I'm going to bring my 2c over, so I'm going to subtract a 2c to both sides. That leaves me here with negative 3x equals negative 3 minus 2c. I now am going to divide by a negative 3 to both sides. That leaves me with an x equals, now, this is tricky, okay, <clears throat> uh, divided by that negative 3, okay? Well, what if I distributed that, right? So that negative, what if I divided both parts by a negative, right? So I can do that. I can take this negative 3. I'm going to leave the 3 down there, the denominator. But with the numerator, I'm going to divide the negative into this negative, right? So the negative and the negative cancel out, leave me with a positive. So we have a positive 3 here. And then we have negative minus a 2c, right? Minus a 2c there. And that ends up with a positive as well. So we have a positive 2c. So we have 3 plus a 2c over 3, and that is equal to x, and let's rewrite it, I'm going to put the 2c first, and that's the worksheet had there, so we have 2c plus 3, rearrange that using the commutative property, over 3, and there we are. We have a final answer here of x equals 2c plus 3 over 3. Now, if that confused you here, what you also can see is if I had a negative 3 minus 2c, if I pulled out a negative 1, that makes that 3 positive, and that makes pulled out this to be a positive 2c. And maybe that's a little easier to see, and that would be canceled out with that negative that's down below. So that's a little note. You could, do it, could have done it that way, and that might have helped uh, you see it. But either way, my final answer here is x equals 2c plus 3 all over 3. So let's recap. We're given negative 3x plus 2c equals negative 3, and we need to solve that for x. I rewrote my equation, but then I subtracted the 2c to both sides, leaving me a negative 3x on the left equals a negative 3 minus 2c on the right. And then I divide by negative 3. Either way you can see it, you can see that I left the 3 in the bottom, but the negative I can distribute, it cancels out, makes this a positive 3, and this is a positive 2c, or instead of minus 2c, plus 2c. Uh, there's another way you can break out that negative, you need to see it right there, okay, pulling out a negative 1, and then that would have eliminated the negatives. And then I rearranged it to have 2c come first using the commutative property. So now let's with my final answer of, and this would have totally been fine, to be honest, like every teacher should, hopefully, uh, accept that answer. I totally will. But rearrange it here to have uh, 2c come first. And so my final answer is x equals 2c plus 3 all over 3.